So, um, ladies and gentlemen, to write a proof for this, what we have is we have a figure QRST, and we are given QR is congruent to SR, ST is congruent to QT, and prove triangle QRT is congruent to triangle SRT. All right? So, ladies and gentlemen, again, remember when we're writing proofs, we're going to go by the two column proof method. So, when applying a two, problem, two column proof, before you start thinking about everything and seeing how hard proofs are and how much you dislike them, Let's just get the easy stuff out of the way. So the first thing we can do is we know we're going to have to have a statement and a reason. So I write statement, and then I write reason. Correct? Statement and a reason. Yes. Not right now. Now, the next thing we need to do is we write down what we have been provided. So we say, angle or side QR is congruent to side SR. Now, why do we know that is true, Elizabeth? Why do we know that's true? Because it's given, right? Now, I know you don't like proofs, but is that, was that, that too bad? No, it wasn't that bad. Yes? You're right. What is the, did I write it down wrong? No, I wrote, I labeled them wrong. QRT and, T, sorry, I wrote these wrong. That's T and S. Sorry. All right, the next one is I say lot side ST is congruent to side QT. All right. So, AJ, um, why do we know that this is true? It's given. All right. Now, I understand a lot of you, you know, get stuck now at this point. But, ladies and gentlemen, there's absolutely no reason that we cannot at least get to this point. All right. And when you're applying a proof for congruence, the best thing I want to I want to tell you is we need to prove two things are congruent. Congruent, right? Samantha, what is one way we can prove two triangles are congruent? OK, what were the notes? What were our two congruent statements we just went over? What is one way? So we, if we can prove that all three of these sides are equal to each other, then we can prove that they are congruent, correct? And Jessica, what was the other way we can prove two triangles are congruent? Side angle side. So if we can prove two of these sides are equal and the angle in between those two sides are equal, if we can prove that, we can prove they're equal triangles. So let's go and take a look, ladies and gentlemen, then, at what we have. So here we have QR is congruent to SR. So we know those two are equal, right? So I put a tick mark on my figure. The next one. ST is equal to QT. I don't know if they're the same as the other one, so I'm just going to use two tick marks, because I don't know if they're exactly equal to the other one. Now, do we know if our angles are the same? Do we know if those are the same? Can we prove it? No, we don't really know. They look like they're the same, right? But we can't really tell, right? Can we show that these two angles are equal, Blake? No. Can we show that these two angles are equal? They look like they're equal, but how are you going to tell? How are you going to show me with complete conviction that those two angles are the same? If they have the same angle. But how do you know? So I measure Well, you could obviously go back through a project, but what if you're, pro what if you're off a little bit? Because measuring, you're still just kind of estimating where it's at, right? If they both have a right angle. But how do, do they have both a right angle, though? But it's not a right angle unless you see that box or you see that 90 degrees or I tell you it's a right angle. Well, we can only put a box if we know it's a right angle. And as of this point in time, ladies and gentlemen, even though the angles look like they could be equal, they're not going to, we can't assume that they're equal. The only thing we can try to prove is that, these, that this side is equal for both of them. Now, Kale, does that side look like it's the same length for both of those triangles? Why? You're right, but why? 
Why is, why is the side RT the exact same for both of those triangles, QRT and SRT? Why is it exactly the same? Yes, Katie? I'm thinking that because those two are equal and those two are equal. Right. Well, I want to see, can I prove that this side is the same for both triangles? Is it the same for both triangles? Yes, Taylor? Yeah, it's the exact same side. RT, guys, look it. QRT, SRT. Is RT the same side for both triangles? Uh -huh. yes. Then yes, so it's the same side. Of course, if it's the same side, then it's obviously going to be the same for both triangles. Therefore, Alexandra, it's going to be equal. True. All right? So therefore, you guys can say that. No, no, no. Put it back over there, please. You just put it back over there. I'm not going to touch it again. But just put it over there so it's by itself. So we can say QR is congruent to QR. Why is QR congruent to QR? You can say it's the reflexive property, or you can also say it's just the same side. It's the exact same side for both triangles. RT, sorry. I'll call it, yeah, RT. Yes, where did I lose you? You know this, you know this. RT is the same side for QRT. QRT, that is a side length, right? The other triangle is SRT, SRT, right? That's that triangle. They both share the exact same side, right? So you know they have to be equal to each other because they both use RT. So that's why RT, or RT is congruent to RT. Why is RT congruent to RT? Because it's the exact same. So therefore, now we can prove that triangle QRT is congruent to triangle SRT because you guys can see in this figure we have side, side, side. Okay? Um, ladies and gentlemen, I apologize. We're running, uh, running late. With